Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of the Absolute Beginner's Guide to Minecraft. I am Paul of Thebes, and I had to do a new intro for this episode, because it's three weeks ago since I recorded it. I am still affected by whatever viral infection I picked up. Uh, I think I might have got a cold after it as well, so I don't know. It's been a weird few weeks. It's been very strange. But uh, I had this episode three quarters finished. I just, I think, had to show the outcome. <laughs> and that wasn't going too well. So I finished up and I'm going to do that now. So here's the entirety of the episode for your enjoyment. <laughs> what I want to show you today is, well, these guys kind of get in the way. And I want to use this little guy, if I can get him to follow me. And, uh... <laughs> I'm gonna build a little trap for these guys. So we don't need to worry about them. Coming into our village. And making a mess. Ain't that right? Say yes. That's right. Good. Righty ho. Okay, a high proportion of my traffic seems to come in from both here. And here. And back here. And they always seem to head for these guys in here. I'm not too worried about these guys here, but my farmers here. These are the ones I want to protect. So, I'm going to do this one here. You can do as many as you like. Put them in different outposts. But, it's very handy. Just make, say, a 3x3 three three area. For your little villager to stand here. And then you want to dig a trench. 5x5 five five will suffice. Okay, then we need to come down. We dig down 3, 1, 2, 3. And we leave our little floating island above. And we want a villager in here, so at some point you will want to make a little rail in for him. Maybe a little rail in here, or whatever way you're going to, wherever you're getting them from. Okay, you can see my guys are coming in here now. And they're heading to this home. So hopefully when they see my new guy, they'll head here. Oh, they're heading for me. Let's just pretend I'm the villager. Now, see the way I'm here and they can see this hole. So they won't approach it. Wow, these guys are noisy. They, they will not approach this hole. Okay, so you have to fool them into crossing this hole. I'll show you the trap door first. Now, see the way he fell down there? So he thought that was a full block. Now, watch him pathfind, watch him pathfind, watch him pathfind, watch, watch him. See that? See the way he thought there was something there? <laughs> he thought there was something there. He's, he thinks that's a full block. He's going to do it again. See, he thinks that's a full block, so he's going to path his way around. And he's going to fall down there. Now you can do the same with signs. Okay. So, he thought there was something there. He's gone back down. So as you can see, he gets kind of busy around here. Hence, why if you were here... Or you can, you know, you don't have to do this just to protect your villagers. You can do it just to protect you or your home. Put one of these outside your home. All the zombie guys will fall in here. So I'm going to go down. One, two, three, four. I'm going to dig. Uh, one, two. Dig up. But we know that digging up, the sand is going to fall on us and the torch will stop us from suffocating. Okay. And then we can uh, pop up our ladders. Yeah, that's a nice spot. Now you could put a trap door there, which we might just do. And we're going to put water in the corners. I'll push them down into the hole here. So I'm going from the hole one, two, three, four diagonally. One, two, three, and we need to go another one. Get rid of the sand. And that one. 
Now I have my four corners dug out and I'm supporting my sand by this so I have this little design in the corners. Okay, so that way I can leave this gap open on the bottom and I can have my sand back on top or I could just build it all solid. Lovely. Now I can just fill my sand in again here on the edge. Ah, there we go. Sign's back in place. All we need is the water. Okay, down here we need to get right into this corner and drop the bucket there. Again, same here, this corner, drop a bucket there. Now, again, drop a bucket so, and there too. So that perfectly frames it now that if anyone falls in, they'll be pushed. A sign here, and our lava here. Okay. It's unlikely that they will, uh, they don't want wood. It's unlikely that they will get out from there. I'm just building supplies. Now, nah, close that up. So they can fall in there. And uh, anything that falls in there we we'll burn up. Thank you. So, that, in a nutshell, is your zombie trap. A killing machine. <laughs> okay, thanks very much for watching, and uh, now we need live trials. <laughs> <laughs> Typical. Got a couple of clowns coming in here. No one's coming <laughs> this way. <laughs> ah, I was originally going to put it here because of those guys up there. But most of the traffic was coming down this way, this way, and this way. Now they're coming in here. <laughs> yes, that's it. Come. That's it. Success. <laughs> Let's do another one. Mom. Is he gonna come for me? Or yeah, he still is. Yeah. That's it. Plain and simple. So there you go. A very simple zombie trap. Thanks for the demonstration. I. That's simple, to easy to build as well. I hope it's useful for your zombie purposes. Uh, one guy in the background. <laughs> Come over here. <laughs> well, that's it for this episode anyway. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. All the best. Bye-bye. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> what? Oh, man, what? Don't you dare! What? Who could? What? I'm a. What? I'm a. Oh. You. What? Oh, man. How did. How. What? You were safe. Give me that. Where's that little. Where'd that little man go? Where is he? Dude. Dude, uh, you killed everyone. Uh, no. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another episode of the Absolute Beginner's Guide to Minecraft. I'm Paul of Thebes and... <laughs> Sorry.